right, another radio came in today. This this time it's the Oregon Scientific WR601N. Um, so here we go. Let's go ahead and review it. So this is what it looks like. I'm not, I, and I wasn't joking about the um, being similar to the 74250C. Look. Literally, look at this difference. They look so similar to each other. So, yeah, but anyways. So, the Oregon Scientific WR601N. This is the display. It has a blue backlight, which I can turn on by pressing the snooze button. There you go. It's really nice. It's pretty cool. Um, now... The reason why I have it, like, laying down, like, face down like this is because I'm, I'm going to tell you guys right now, the reception is literally so unforgivable on the Oregon Scientific WR601N. Like, literally, I can't even get channel 6. Yeah, that's how bad it is. I couldn't even get WWF48, which is the second strongest station. I can only get my station... But the reception for my station is like, it's so hard to get a signal without static coming in. Yeah, like literally, just, I mean, I can see why. Because that tiny antenna, like literally. So, yeah, so I'm going to turn it on for you guys. Yeah, this, I'm not even joking. I couldn't even get the best reception in the window. Yeah, that's how bad it is. The only good spot somehow is right here. Like if I if I like 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 stand up like I'm gonna turn it on. Weather dry. Lightning. No lightning expected. Tonight max temperature in the upper sixties. Min temperature like in the lower fifties. Average dew points in the mid fifties. Minimum humidity, 55 to 65%. Okay, never mind. Wind, south 5 to 10 knots. For some reason, when I put my hand on it, it's like... Isolated thunderstorms. Lightning, isolated. Extended, Sunday, mostly cloudy. But honestly, I'd rather have it face down. At least for this angle. Monday, cooler. Mostly cloudy. And yeah, and, and these are the button beeps, um, you know. Yeah, the button beeps um, is something, I guess. Honestly, it's a lot, the button beeps are actually a lot quieter than I thought they would be. Because when I was watching SPC Cranford 1056's um, Oregon Scientific WR601N review, in my perspective, the button beeps were like, as loud as the 249. But these button beeps are a lot quieter. Um, the button beeps are also slightly higher pitched too. Compared to the 249 as well. Um, so yeah. There's not much to say other than... Um, yeah, you got your time. Noah... All hazards, the the seven up there means for the, the channel, channel seven, of course. Uh, and then SA is actually a uh, Saturday. Yeah, the, the, the display is so small, it can't even display SAT at least. And also, you, you may notice uh, warning watch and advisory. Yeah, th this is, um, I so basically how the radio works is that... Um, it's it, it um so what happens is it will flash either warning watch or advisory and then as you can see right here if you can notice it it says you see the the word that says test i'm going to assume that the test thing is going to flash for weekly tests i'm guessing so yeah sorry about the whole okay um a little bit silent there for a second there um, 
it it also it's um also supposedly it comes with a charging lot charging cradle but um for some reason it didn't come with it that that honestly doesn't matter to me at least because with it lying face down like this it can get the best reception for some reason like literally i don't know how it can get re good reception at least here of all the places it can get the best reception this is the spot so whatever i guess that's the spot it's going on um so yeah um not much as i don't really know what else to say about it other than the fact that it's super identical to the midland 74 250c i'm gonna do an, a little comparison one more time like literally just look it looks so similar dude like literally it's got the the, the black face plate around the display um and it's all yellow all around the only difference is the antenna is a is slightly longer than the Oregon Scientifics, like literally. Um. So yeah. Uh, um. So yeah, and then I I don't know, but anyways, um, I'm not really sure what else to say about it or mention about it. Uh oh, uh, there's a little. If you see that right there, let me just get. get let me just. There's a little hand strap right there. Um, a, the adapter thing, the charging DC jack for it. I'm glad it comes with the DC adapter instead of just without one. Um, Cause that way I don't have to figure out how many volts it takes. I'm going to assume it takes either five volts or six volts. Um, and it also, if we flip it over, it comes with a belt clip. That's pretty cool. Um, yep, belt clip. So yeah, it's cool, I guess. Um, so, yeah, but anyways. And then, um, yeah, and then the backlight, if I, yeah, I, I already mentioned it in the beginning, but it has a blue backlight. It's pretty nice. I actually really, I, I really like the backlight. That's honestly really the only awesome thing about it i mean it, it, it's it's pretty nice it, it, it's it's pretty interesting i guess it's it's all right it's nothing special um i mean and it also does not have a siren with it so it's 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 just like the accurite um which is yeah um i moved it i moved the accurite uh t to the window um also real quick before i end the video yeah, I so I moved it right there because I was actually doing a new another new setup, or at least like some arrangements for like the thing. See, like um, this dresser used to be on the other side of the room. I I moved over here, and then that shelf used to be over there, and now it's right here. Um, I am gonna get some more radios for this area here, as well as another new, as well as another. Um, like, adapter thing that, like, this big boy. I'm getting another one of those, uh, because I know I'm going to be getting new radios in the future. So, just be prepared for that. But anyways. <laughs> anyways. So, yeah. So, there's the whole, yeah. So, so, yeah, that's the same dresser, the TV, stuff like that. The Atlantic Hurricane thing. You know, all that. Stuff like that. So, uh, yeah. Oh, and also, hold on, just real quick. Let me flip this over. Up. Let me put on LED. Just wanted to make sure the reception's good. All right, okay. All right, so, um, I guess it's gonna wrap up the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Really looking forward to getting alerts out of these two handhelds well at least well so far for the new radios um speaking of which um there is actually severe weather occurring right now near my area um but all we've been getting was strong thunderstorm statements no svrs it's kind of sad but there is a flood advisory for Skullharry county there's a possibility it might upgrade to a flash flood warning if the rain will stay long enough i hope so i can get an, an a first eas alert out of the Oregon Scientific and the Accurite, but who knows what will happen. 
All right, well, anyways, I'm going to go now. Uh, stay tuned for the other radios that come in soon. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to go.